The world of marketing and advertising is ever changing. Companies are constantly searching for new ideas and new ways to reach clients. Earlier this month, companies shelled out millions of dollars for 30 seconds of time during the Super Bowl. But you don't have to spend that kind of money to get the word out. Channel 13's Whitney Blakemore introduces us to the Metro's social media influencers and shows us how they make a living at it. I do love stripes. For years, Ashley DeYoung worked as a nurse in the Des Moines metro area until she had her daughter Rowan in 2013 and later started a blog to decompress. I just need, I need some space, so like mom space. And so I would just blog about being a mom. I bet this little bag sells out because I'm obsessed with it right now. Now, five plus years later, that mom blog turned into a career as a full-time fashion and lifestyle social media influencer out of West Des Moines. I thought I would just write and it would be an outlet, and I never thought like that would carry on and change so much. Now with over 30,000 followers on Instagram, she works with a reward styler app called Like to Know It and collaborates with dozens of companies. A company could reach out to me and say, hey, we'd love to work together, then they are the people who pay me. Prices vary depending on what companies want from DeYoung. For a single sponsored Instagram post, DeYoung's bringing in $100. A full-blown series of sponsored blog posts and social media shares, she's making $540. So when I go to style, I just will pick a sweater. This is actually one of my best-selling ones this season. She also gets paid a commission for every article of clothing she sells on her social media through that Reward Styler app. You might be thinking, all right, it's 25 degrees outside. I want to look cute, but how do I get out the door and look cute but still be warm? Instagram really started for me probably about two years ago. Sharing style on Instagram, of uh, sharing recipes, just kind of sharing my motherhood journey. Sarah Kelly is another influencer out of Ankeny. Her passion was fashion from the beginning, but she never imagined where it would take her today. I do like these flat lays. Just how social media has evolved. Uh, I definitely did not um, picture myself where I am, what I'm able to do. Um, also, you know, I stay at home with my kids, so I'm able to do this as a career um, and also be a wife and a mom. Also a part of the Like to Know It reward styler, Kelly combines that commission with business collaborations and her locally owned wardrobe consulting business to make a living. It's really important to me that I am vulnerable and real. Um, this, you know, although people are seeing clips of my life, I want them to see all of my life. So. I'm hopping on without makeup, um, without being, you know, camera ready. Happy February and happy Friday, my sweet friends. A real life that almost seems like a celebrity life. I get in like shipments daily. It's like Christmas around here every day about new products that people want me to share. From clothes to food. Probably serve it with some cauliflower mash and then my fresh green beans from the garden. These influencers are sent anything imaginable as companies try to get the word out about their products from people who consumers can relate to. I'm walking you through shopping. I'm telling you like what my daughter did at school, what she's wearing. So it's just developing relationships with people and it's not, you know, just superficial. Like I'm, it's real life. Both of these influencers collaborated with outlets of Des Moines, one of the few local businesses in the Des Moines Metro that is using the new marketing strategy. Our company is from Boston and they have a lot of influencers on the coast. And as we've seen the trend come towards the middle to the Midwest area, um, it's something that we've just jumped on on board. Marketing director Julie Dawson says influencers help her company reach customers they never could on their own. They already have the followers. They already have that niche market, so to speak. Low carb, so I will link it here. I already have the recipe on my blog. You can swipe up. She says they have the trust already built with their followers. Hey, I thought it'd be fun to do a transition at Old Navy. And that makes all the difference when someone like DeYoung or Kelly promotes their clothing. She's not just fashion. It's you know, what are these people eating? What makeup are they wearing? What restaurants are they recommending? It isn't just about what you look like. It's you're trying out things and people trust your opinion. Statistics back this idea up. According to HubSpot data, 71% of people are more likely to make a purchase if the product is recommended by someone on social media. 
As far as a marketing strategy, I would much rather buy something from a trusted friend than, you know, a model wearing it or somebody I don't know using it. So I feel like if companies really understand that, um, they see the value in influencers. From the outside, it may seem as simple as posting a picture in trendy clothes and getting a bunch of products and money. But these influencers say it isn't as easy as one may think. I take my own photos. I just have a tripod. I throw it in the car or I have my five-year-old take my photo, which is quite interesting. Posting multiple times a day, spending hours searching sales and the latest trends and interacting with your followers. Both say it easily becomes a full-time job. Definitely is a labor of love. There's a lot of behind the scenes. Um, unglamorous things, maybe uh, photos, you know, just taking photos and um, always having to be creative, coming up with some new ideas. And it can take a while for that hard work to be noticed, sometimes taking years of posting and blogging without compensation. I tried on the cutest bathing suits. I can't wait to share them for you. To garner a large enough audience to make real money. I don't think people realize that it doesn't just, you don't just start it. Like I started my blog in 2014 and it really hasn't taken off until this year because it's more prominent in this area of the social influencing. Slowly but surely, we are starting to see influencers pop up around the metro and companies realizing Des Moines is full of untapped potential. The Midwest is typically a little bit behind and I think that now they're kind of seeing that really we're not behind, it's just not here. Whitney Blakemore, Channel 13 News. So as you heard, making a living at this does not happen quickly. Most people have around 10,000 followers before they even think about marketing their influence. Interesting stuff. Yeah. If yes. only you had a little influence on what all this weather's going on outside. Yeah. If I could do that, I would market it big time. We go past they Instagram. Asked, they asked the right question. How do we look cute and stay warm? Man? <laughs> you know what? I don't care about looking cute so much, obviously, but also I want to stay warm. I want you to stay warm as well. We have a whole lot of snow coming our way here again within about another hour or two. Another couple of inches expected of that new snow here in Des Moines, but we've had much more in southeastern Iowa. Brett McIntyre is going to be here in a minute. We're going to go through a tag team forecast for you and show you how much snow we've seen across the state. Only 1.5 inches as of 6 o'clock tonight at the Des Moines International Airport. An update on that later after midnight, and that's when the snow will start to move out.